Alright everybody, we're back. We're going back through some Borderlands 1 gameplay. And the last time we left off, we actually got Sledge's mind key. We didn't actually... Whoops. We actually did not beat Sledge himself. And so, now we are on our way in these missions. And we actually got to turn this piece in. And so, that's where we're actually headed off to. I think that's the only thing I actually got left. Let me got a couple of side questions that we have here. You know, like the... You know, the lost city. That's level 15. We're not leveled up for that. I mean, we can go back to Sledge's safe house and do the side mission. But those are things I might do off. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, let's find ourselves a vehicle. There we go. Time to catch a ride. Right? Yeah, let's uh, see that crimson red stuff we wear. All right. Get out of here. There we go. I'm all about that crimson red. Boomer sooner, right? Okay. Anyway. What? Uh, am I even heading the right way? See, you gotta excuse me on this whole thing, because I half the time I'll be driving through this stuff and I have no damn clue where I'm going. So I'm just gonna drive in a general direction and hopefully we're going in the right way. I'm gonna run this guy over. Everything you've faced up until now has been simple. You're about to face a real challenge in Sledge. Do not underestimate him. Oh, wow. They, they, they just hyped that up pretty uh, pretty tough, huh? So let's just go in here and let's get some ammo and let's just pick all this stuff up because that's just less money I got to spend, right? So we'll come over here. Looting. Ah, damn. What's it? Damn, level 24? Uh, I ain't even gonna even bother trying to clean. My inventory's full, but I'm not even gonna bother picking it up because what's a level 24 item gonna do for me right now? Alright. So now we can go to Headstone Mine. Damn, level 17. You know what? Like, I'm gonna accept this mission. But. You know what? Let's do a couple. Let's do a couple of side missions real quick. Just to kind of get us going here. See, that, that might be a little bit. Let's let's hit up some of these these missions. So let's go to the Lost Cave mission right here. That's what we're gonna do. If that if the mission level 17, then we probably need to level up a little bit. I don't think it's really gonna go all that well for us. We're probably gonna go in there and just get fucking or well. <laughs> I already said it. We're gonna go in there and get destroyed by a lot of stupid ass enemies. So let's go ahead and just. I don't even know what this mission is asking me to do. I think I just passed it. The Shot Crystal Cave, whatever the hell that's at. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna collect some Shot Crystals. What up, Woogie Boogie mother motherfuckers. I wish the map was a little bit more descriptive, like the ones in the original Borderlands. But this looks. There we go. The Lost Cave. So let, let, let's hit up this spot. Get some EXP going. Got got a little bit of college football news up here, and I know they're talking a whole bunch about who's going to be the best team. And This place looks kind of cool. Yeah, they're talking about who's all gonna be the best team and all that whatnot, and you know, I, I really don't know. Like, I mean, a lot of people kind of stick to what they know, and I mean, part of being an expert on these shows, I mean, necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're right or wrong or anything. Yeah, okay. But I think when you're an analyst, you want to be right. Man, I do not know. Okay, okay, these aren't that bad. Ooh, I got a lot of the XP. Gotta hit him in that eye. Critical hits. Oh, wow. Hmm. 
Let's see. Used to be a good shotgun enemy, right? Well, we're gonna level up really quick up in here. But kind of going back to my original point, you know, I think that, you know, when you're an analyst or an expert, I mean, your whole point is that you want to be right. You know, everybody wants to say, I predict that Team A is going to do this and be right. But, I mean, and, and, and whatever basis that you use to determine what that is or whatever, whether you want to use, like, data from last season or you really try to evaluate the current roster and all that, I, I, I just don't know. I, I mean, I just don't know if there really is a tried and true way to get your predictions right. I think that... It's probably more valid. Uh, do I just let's see? Did I kill? What do I do? Did I keep shooting it or something till it run? Oh, okay, this makes sense. Anyway, but yeah, you have to. I mean. I don't really think there's a tried and true way to really decide like who's right or who's wrong or anything like that. And I think that's the fun of of a good sports debate. I think people get too caught up in the whole, you know, somebody has to be right about this or got to be right about that. And, and I don't, I mean, really, like, at the end of the day, like, who cares? Like, you know, who cares if you're right or, you know, like, who has to have the best formulated opinion or anything like that because the whole fun of the conversation is just a, it's just that you know it's just weighing in on what you got and these gags do not open up their mouths as much well that eh, sounds kind of weird. they don't open up their mouths like the other ones do but you get a hell of a lot of experience points with that and the kill skills kicking in so I don't know. Personally, I don't know who's going to win. I'll speak from a conference level. I live in Big 12 country. My prediction, I'll go ahead and go out on a limb and say that the Texas Longhorns will be the team that wins the Big 12. I think they do got the most experience, very athletic defense. Recruiting's the best in the conference by far. And, you know, if you just put it all together, then it's going to be pretty good. But I know there's a lot of criticism about Mac Brown and I mean, are you know you developing, or are you actually developing the players that you're recruiting, and all that kind of stuff? And I mean, I understand that when you underperformed a couple of times, but I mean, when you look at his track record and everything he's done over the last few years, I mean, that's what I would say. I, I look at everybody on the media and be like, "F y'all, look at the record," you know. So I mean, really, instead of doubting him, those folks down there in Austin, Texas, should really just find, you know, get ready to build him that statue. But of course, sports is what have you done for me lately. And I really think fans are a little bit in that mode of what have you done for me lately. But still, nonetheless, that ain't no excuse. Never to sit there and ride on them like a rodeo show. Oh, there we go. So we're collecting ourselves some crystals. Like, so this is just kind of a really drawn out collection. Or a collection mission. Yeah, I would stick with this. There we go. Nice. So we only gotta really shoot. Oh yeah, we'll definitely level up once or twice doing all this. I'm not complaining at all. Oh. Huh. Oh, I have some awful aim. Excuse my. Uh, let's see. There we go. The reload on the shotgun is slow. Oh, I just killed both of them like that. I will take that. That was kind of nice. Oh. Switch. We need something a little bit faster. Oh, he's a badass guy. Uh, we might not have enough. We might not have enough. Uh, you know, let's run back and get some more ammo. I only got roughly 50 clips inside my gun, so let's let's do that real quick. We're not too far away from that. 
get some SMG ammo. I think while we're at it, let's get rid of this sniper because it's not really an area where we're actually going to be sitting here sniping anyway. Uh, trying to figure out what's going to be the most useful. A burning SMG. But I, I need, I need, we need some elemental damage. Uh, I don't, you know. Well, I, I just want to. We'll just put this in here because a sniper is not going to be no good. I know the inventory is full. I'm trying to swap guns. There we go. So let, let's see how this fares with us a little bit. Ah, oh, well that means I can really shoot this skag pretty easily now, right? He's stuck. Oh, gotta be more careful. Come here. Prep for his little girlfriend. Huh? That don't help. Yeah, keep going. There we go. Where'd he go? Let's go this way. Um, they ain't crazy. They know. They know not to come back over here and chase me. All right. Yeah. This place is designed. Oh, this damn skag actually got tell back. Just keep shooting her. See, that wasn't going to happen last time. So I basically wasted up a whole clip on him. And that wasn't, that was not about to go down. And don't play that shit. Ah, damn it. Don't give me these slow ass shotguns. That, that with fervor. I know. Uh, around. Oh wow, this gun still actually does a pretty decent amount of damage. I will stick with it. bit tougher. Uh, he knocked me down. Oh, he got stuck. That's lucky. I'm gonna run back over here. Give me a chance to reload. Got him, coach. Yeah, we're gonna level up really quick up in here. They called it tough, but we weren't too far out of our level. The guns we got. I feel like in this game, you know, I mean, if you're one of the people that have played, you're playing the original, you played the second one first, I feel that level, or it seems like level isn't as important to the overall effectiveness of the gun as it is just finding, you know, just getting the gun that, you know. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna hurt trying to shoot you in the mouth. Do that again. Uh, back up against the wall. Look at that. Let's say these dudes just kept coming. And that's what they wanted. Get these damn crystals. Alright. So I guess this is going this episode will just be strictly going through here and getting these missiles. And then we'll We'll go on to the next episode. 
how good is it compared to what I got? It does a little bit better damage. It's a doll. Let me see, this is the gun I think I didn't like how I felt my hand. Yeah, I don't like that. We're gonna drop this gun. We don't want this gun. Yeah, we'll... Um, gotta put something else in here. Can't use it yet, though. How awesome is that? All right, let's keep going. The hostile thumper. Sound like a freaking like bad porn video. Uh, yeah, I like kill skills, bullet damage, make her into a badass. I might respect her and just you know fire rate, elemental. Maybe for this point the game is still better, so we'll net we'll definitely go with killing an enemy reduces the cooldown to phase lock. We have to put a point or two in there. All right, let's keep going. My goodness, find all these skags. These enemies end up being a lot more annoying than I thought. Remember when I first played Borderlands, I think I think every enemy in Borderlands at some point hits my this is my least favorite enemy list. Okay, these are all bandits. Okay, you got y'all gonna see me in the menus a whole bunch. So screw it. Alright. Since we are in the menu, we're gonna We're fighting bandits. We are going to snipe some folks. Come on, son. Huh. Ow. Not for me, but for you. Oh, shit. I got a badass psycho. That's okay. Yeah. That was a phase lock fail. I think he's actually stuck. So I'm gonna use this to my advantage. Yeah, yeah. People are still attacking me with random stuff. Ow. Huh. There we go. Pop these other dudes. It's just something that's just really fun about sniping. Like you Halo players probably understand that feeling too. Just charge my batteries over here real quick. Alright, let's try that again. Pop them from even further. Yeah. Is he actually Oh, he's just stuck. Enemies just glitching. Ah. Gotcha. There we go. Oh, nope. I don't think I got any more enemies over here. Let's see what's in here. Give me a really good shotgun. Hey. It's gotta be better than what I got, right? The fire rate is better. This does 24 times 11. This does 66 times 9. This one's more accurate in this one, but this one has a better reload speed and a better fire rate. I mean, this fire rate is awful. Um, man, but we got too much other stuff. I got a bunch of shields I ain't using. I can drop this. 
We'll give him a test run. And if I don't like it, I'll sell it. Alright. I hear voices in me head. Oh. They are not in me head. They are here. I might have to worry about who's closest. Let's kill this cruiser first. Okay, you just saw three of the worst shots you think you'll ever see. Uh, there we go. Uh. Alright, this badass cruiser. You know, he's taking a lot of shots to the head. His resiliency is amazing. And I just wanted an excuse to use the word resiliency. I work for the government. They talk about that all the time. Being resilient. We must learn, everybody, on how to overcome adversity. Got six bullets in here. And I miss. Damn. Okay. I think you should be able to pick up this health instantly. This shield is an improvement. I am putting on this shield. This is very high capacity, my ass. Okay. Yeah, okay, let's drop that and we'll put on this thermal shield. I'm gonna pick this one up. There we go. And there we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That was a shield. It was good while it lasted. Oh, yeah, take that instead. All day, every day. Get us some ammo. A machine gun. Don't really care much for machine guns in this game. I'm, a, I'm definitely a SMG kind of guy. It's nice and balanced. Alright. I see enemies over here, so I can probably get more crap from over here, but we're gonna go this way towards some crystals. I wanna go this way first, because I see crystals. I'm not trying to skip anything. I'm pretty sure they have exactly 50 in here. All right, we only need to go up to, we only need three more of these things to get the hell out of here. Purple shotgun. All right. I can actually use this detonating sniper. We we'll use that now, and I'm a. You know what? TK's wave. Sorry, homie. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm talking about. Late till I get to level 16 here in a minute. We're doing some good stuff. Oh, whoops. My bad. I was looking downward. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, man. I was up here. Up here eating me some lunch at Popeye's today. Saw lots and lots of very attractive women. I was very surprised. I even saw an Asian girl with an ass. So for anybody who's like, if there's an Asian girl that just happened to be watching this, I'm sorry. But anytime that an Asian girl has ass, it's essentially like a revelation. I mean, 
death name. Because an Asian girl with a booty is very, very, very. I don't say awesome. She had on like this like red dress and it stuck through the dress. And if you can wear a dress where the ass sticks out of the dress, I think you are doing very good. That was a very, I know, that was a very male conversation right there. But man, I was eating my chicken. I was like, I was like, they make those? I was not quite sure that actually existed out there in like, like, you know, it was almost like some, some, some unknown elements from the earth. You know, I was like, damn. Oh man. All right, we're almost actually done with this damn mission. They're probably going to make it hard. Uh... Ah, this is nice. We are done. We can turn this in. But, that's not without killing one more dude, right? Let's kill a couple of guys. Say that's a chance to explode. Ooh, yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about takes for a person to reload. A shotgunner. Uh-oh. Run. So we'll pop these dudes real quick, see what's up there with their garden, and then we'll go ahead and head on out this piece. Uh, ooh, there you go. He deserves a tea back that. Oh, that kill skill is activated. Let's take advantage of this fire rate. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure since this is the end of the level and it's 50, they might just let me come out of this. Let's see. Will they? Looks like I just go in a big ass circle. So let we we can go ahead and kill through this. I'm pretty sure there might be something that is worth it from going through all this trouble. Has to be, right? Oh, it's another badass psycho. Our new explosive Molly Wan. There we go. Molly Wap his ass. I know, that was kind of cheesy. What can I say? I'm a cheesy guy. And I have no choice but to snipe because I'm about to run out of some real ammo. Wow, had the duck. What a bitch. All right, there we go. Now they said there was a badass psycho that is stuck. So I'm gonna just pop him a couple of times. Oh, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, that did. Come here. Oh, move. Why do I have zero ammo for anything? Damn. It's a reload, a, a reload bag. Ooh, Samantha Ponder. 
You know what? Screw that. She will always be Sam Steele to me, okay? Screw that mess. Okay, I don't know what the hell Christian Pondy did to get that mess. Alright. She will always be Sam Steele. Christian Pondy just got freaking lucky. The only reason why is because he missed the quarterback. He ain't even that good of a quarterback. I mean, at least if you're going to get all the cute girls, you should be like a great quarterback. I mean, let me put it this way. He quarterback's better than me. Not going to lie, of course. That's why he out here making millions, and I'm not, and I'm sitting here YouTubing it. But still. I don't even know which way I'm going. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, my goodness. Let's go turn this in. What a mission. It was actually kind of fun. Damn, enemies actually respawn? Screw this. Uh, there we go. You know what? This is just good lasting XP. Melee was pretty good. so long these things respawn I'm just not well I'm still getting a pretty ridiculous amount of XP from these things despite being the same level I should level up off this one there we go we walked in here I think we were level 13 alrighty Let's go ahead and spin our point. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we need we need we need bullet damage and velocity. We need him to turn into a There we go. What's this stuff? Pretty nice little area. Man. Tango El Gato Los Pantalones. Let's see, who are we actually supposed to turn this into? Yeah, just followed it. Oh, shit. Oh, no. All right. We gonna be like Fruit Loops and follow your nose. Yep, I said it. Damn, there's a lot of side missions out here. Oh, it is. We'll go through it. I'm pretty sure there's some on. Thank you, Claptrap, for letting me. Oh, I think I just drove the wrong way. I sure did. Oh, well, it's also caught. I can't put the vehicle in here. Alright, let's let's turn ourselves in some missions, grab a couple extra ones. So I guess when we hit level 17, we'll go ahead and and go through and 
and do that. Wow, that's nice. So we got our first artifact. Nice. Let's see. Trivial. Meet and greet. So yeah, like scavenger. So I'm pretty sure you get like a really cool combat rifle or a really cool sniper rifle. I think they're worth the time. So we'll just grab all these. But uh, so we got plenty of missions now to keep us nice and busy. We got a nice artifact in our inventory. So we we're we're pretty set. So we got we got some things to do and take care of. So like I said, the sledge mission, level 17. So we'll hit level 17, and so we might we, we might go. Well, so in the next this is what we're gonna do. So in the next playthrough, I'll go through and knock out one or two of these. That should get us. I'll do like the eat the lower level ones probably. So basically the scavenger missions, get those out of way to help us out with our inventory. And then from there, we'll just go straight into, you know, fighting sledge and doing that doing that sort of thing so we're gonna close this particular episode out and uh we'll pick up again with the next one so all right y'all take it easy